I'm excited to finally talk about this new tool I've been working on for the past few months, and I'm just super pumped because it's going to change the game we build on System.io and eventually other platforms, but right now I'm just focusing on System.io. If you do want to get more details about exactly what's included in the offer, just click the link down below and you'll be able to see what tools are available, upcoming tools, roadmap, etc. But for now, in this video, I'm just going to show you how each one of these tools works and give you just a high-level overview of how you can implement it into your designs. All right, let's get straight into it. We're going to open up a page here on system.io and show you how we can build using this new Chrome extension. So if you go here, all you got to do is just click the Chrome extension. It's going to open up the pop-up. Here you'll be able to see all the tools we have available, all the blocks available you can import. For these, you just click on them and they get imported straight into your blocks area here within the system. Animated blocks, same thing. Click on them. They get imported straight into your blocks area. And these are animations for text. Eventually, these are going to become tools, so you'll be able to type in the text you want to animate, and it's going to generate for you. We got copywriting tools. If you want to generate headlines, for example, for the problem statement, just click random headline. It's going to give you here. You can modify it here as well, or you can choose from one of the preset ones here and click modify this template. You'll be able to change it. We got some for solutions, for feature benefits, guarantees, final call to action. So to help you, just come up with ideas and build these faster. Feature section, this one we're going to have different featured. Every month, there's going to be a new feature template or resources that are premium. So usually I charge for these, but if you're part of this uh, subscription, you'll be able to get it for free. Resources, so this is a bunch of resources I like to use like to find inspiration for designs, to get free stock videos, free stock images, illustrations, etc. You can just click on these. It's gonna take you straight to the website that we can actually go and use them. You can get some support here, just pretty much a help center you can use it just in case you get lost. All right, so let's say we wanna add a shadow to a row. We just go to this tool here. We got to find a target ID. So where do we want to add that shadow? Let's say we want to add it to this row here. Just going to click on a row. Scroll down to ID attribute. Just click the little clipboard icon. Come back to the shadow element here. And then paste the ID you just got. This is a preview box. So you can see, let's say you do have, I don't know. Let's say a black box. You can add a black box. In this case, we have a white box that we want to add a shadow to. Let's add a green shadow just for the sake of it. Let's offset it. To the right and then down by 10. Let's add like a 20 blur. You can see it doesn't look too good actually. Let's do let's do blue. And this is just for illustration purposes, not the design tutorial. But in this case, you want to make it softer. You click here, it's gonna open this pop-up, it's gonna add it straight to your clipboard. You don't even gotta right click and save. And then here you just go to right HTML element. You come up here, you open up that element, you delete everything that's there, you paste that new code that you just got. And now you can see it added a custom shadow here to this element. Now let's say you want to add that same shadow to this new row. You don't got to go to the tool again. You just click on this row. Go to ID attribute. You go back to the code. All you got to do is add a comma. And then add the number sign. And then paste that new ID. Hit save. And now you can see it added that shadow to this other row as well. So now let's say you want to use the gradient tool here. So let's say we should have the ID in a clipboard. We're going to go here. Let's say go to gradient. You add that ID from the row. Let's do left to right. Let's do, we've been using blue. So let's use blue and let's do, I don't know, let's do purple. So something like that. Click here. It's going to copy to the clipboard. Go back to this right HTML element. You can also add a new one, but in this case, I want to keep all the code in one element. Paste that new code you just got. You can see it added the gradient here to the section. Now let's say you want to add it to this one as well. Grab that new id go back to the element comma number sign and then paste that new id for the new row and now you can see we have a gradient and then we have a custom shadow there as well so now you can see how you can start really making these designs unique with some custom design work using the tool if you scroll down we have the animation so this one's pretty awesome because you can animate anything on the page let's say you want to animate these icons here so what we're going to do we're going to click on that image grab the ID attribute, go back to that tool, add it here. And let's say we want to do pulse. It's going to take two seconds for the animation. And it's going to do it 10 times. Click here. It's going to add it to the clipboard. I think I already have an HTML element there. Let's delete that. Let's add a new one. So ideally, I mean, I like to keep all the code in one right HTML element. But sometimes if you have a long page and you want to know what code is for what section you just add that new right HTML element within that section that way you know this this code is for this stuff and then this new code is for like this section here all right so let's go open this up 
we're going to paste that code that our tool gave us hit save and now you can see it's, it's pulsating all right so now let's say you want to add it to all these these other elements so you're just going to grab this id attribute again you're going to use that comma you can find where it added that image comma number sign and then paste that there and then you can see now it's pulsating this one it stopped this one stopped because there was only 10 iterations so after 10 it stops this one's pulsating as well but once you refresh the page these two are going to start in sync so it's going to do 10 animations 10 iterations at the same time and then you can do the same thing here so you can add as many ids here in a row and it's going to add that same animation all right so i thought that was pretty cool because now you can animate rows buttons icons images whatever it is you want using that one tool here's another awesome one that took me a long time to figure out the background video generator so now you can add background videos to any section within system.io so let's go ahead and go up here in this case we're going to add a video element let's add it here and let's remove this background because it has an image right now a gradient image i'm just going to make it darker just so we can see the text there in this case let's, let's choose a video and like I said, you don't gotta have a YouTube video. You can import a video into system and then we'll use that here. So in this case, I uploaded this video from cover.com. I believe it's a free stock video resource. Are you gonna just grab this video ID, go back to a tool, scroll down to video element here. And then we also gotta tell it what section we wanna add it to. So in this case, we're gonna add this. And then right now there is a little bug. You could say it deletes this when I exit out the extension so what i'm going to do i'm just going to paste this here this temporary placeholder actually what i'm going to do i'm going to go here to section grab this here i'm going to add it here as well except this is just a placeholder this is just a placeholder while we get that bug fixed but in this case we have both the elements here we're going to open up that chrome extension again scroll down to video i'm just going to do this i'm going to copy this and then delete it and then i'm going to paste it here so now we have the section id and then we have the video id here going to generate a code for us it's a long one that's why it doesn't show here we're going to add right html right html element again delete everything that's there paste that new code hit save and you'll be able to see like nothing looks like nothing happened but now if you go and preview this video you'll see exactly what, what's happening actually we got to actually remove the color so let's remove the color here in the back let's preview this again all right, so now you can see what happened here. So now I added that video here in the background as that one section, which you can see it makes it look way more modern than the standard static pages. So let's go, let's delete this actually again. Let's add some color to this background. And the last tool here that we have is a carousel animation generator. And then we have the affiliate payout here, which you can test out. It, it, this one just gives you your next payout. If you're doing affiliate marketing, you can it calculates the days the payout days for your next payout of the month you could say because systems complicated affiliate rules all right so let's say this carousel animation you want to animate this, this slider here so usually what happens it has the little arrows so if you click on carousel we add the arrows right now they're transparent so you can see it adds the arrows and now usually what happens is if you want to go to the next slide you got to click that arrow to move over so you can see if you click this it goes to slide two slide three and then and then yeah in order, and then yeah in order, in order for you to get back you have to click the back arrow which i don't like so what you can do now is you can just grab this carousel id go to the tools scroll down to carousel generator let's make it iterate every four seconds it's going to create some code for us it's going to add it there as well and i'm just going to act like this <laughs> wasn't there we're going to add add it on top of the carousel not inside of it and then you can delete everything that's there paste that new code hit save and now if you go to see the page you can see it automatically starts the animation every four seconds it's going to iterate to a new one and then once it gets to the last one it's going to go back to slide number one so i thought it was pretty awesome because now we can just automate it and make these pages become more alive you could say so those are the, the main tools there. There's going to be so many new tools coming out as well. If you go to the website and go to Roadmap, you, you'll be able to see the features that we're working on, researching some ideas as well in terms of new tools that are coming out. If you do have an idea, you want to add something to it, just go here to Suggest Tool. It's going to open up a form that you can fill out. No email, no name required. You just suggest it, and we'll look into it to see if it's possible to get added. 
And again, I'm going to make this the best Chrome extension you could have for system.io and just funnel builders in general to make it all in one solution that you must have for you to design beautiful funnels. All right, so hopefully you guys are excited about this. If you haven't installed it, it's free. Actually, I made a free plan. If you go down to the free, you now you can use a shadow generator, gradient generator, animations for free. And if you want other the premium features, then you need to upgrade because I did spend tons of time, tons of money into this to make it work. And I'm still going to continue evolving and making it the best tool ever. All right, hopefully you guys love this. Let me know if you guys have any questions, feedback, or just suggestions. All right, see you guys inside.